we're now in that time of the year when we see downpours on a daily basis, but all that rain makes for perfect breeding conditions for these guys' mosquitoes. County officials are reminding everyone about the steps to take to keep the bugs away. CBS 4's Real Crane is live in downtown Miami with that story. Real? Well, Mary Bell, mosquito control has always been a major problem for the county, especially after Zika hit in 2016. Well, now the war on mosquitoes continues, and this year they want you to know the plan. In Miami-Dade County, the battle begins May 1st, the start of rainy season and mosquito season. Here, taking fighting the bug down to a science. It's also a campaign. Our message to visitors and all stakeholders remains the same. Fight the bite, drain and cover. Miami Dade County Mayor Carlos Jimenez announcing their plan this year to be aggressive and proactive. Already in effect, a combination of spraying larvicides to attack the mosquitoes before they become adult and can bite, and adulticides to get them where they live and breed. And keeping an eye on the Caribbean, where mosquito transmitted illnesses are circulating in high numbers. To see what species are where. Uh, and the ones that cause the most problems. In the years since 2016, when Miami-Dade County became ground zero for the first local transmission in the continental U.S. of Zika, the budget for preparation and preparedness has increased tenfold to 13 million. The county has also tripled the number of people working in mosquito control. 2018 saw no cases of local transmission. There have been none so far this year. Officials say they're now closely watching emerging threats like dengue and yellow fever. Miami is a hub for all of Central and South America and the Caribbean. Even if travelers are not staying here, they're, they're generally coming through Miami. That's the concern. That's how these diseases move around, move around the globe. 186 traps have been placed throughout the county. Data gathered allowing them to develop targeted treatment to detect where breeding occurs. The Trabajando mayor citing prevention as the best plan. They need help. Look, mankind has never been able uh, to defeat the mosquito, all right? So all we're trying to do here is reduce the number, but also we have to take personal responsibility when we're out. Wear long, long sleeve shirts, wear uh, the, you know, bug spray, mosquito spray to keep them off so that they don't bite you. Well, aerial spraying we know has been controversial in the past. Officials tell us that last year, uh, Hurricane Irma actually helped to keep the population down that was coming from the swamp. So this year, though, they say it remains to be seen whether or not that will be necessary. We're live at Government Center, Riel Creighton, CBS 4 News.